Hello YouTube. Well, I got to uh, playing around with my 6502 computer here. I decided to play a game of chess. And I figured uh, this would be a good opportunity to show you Micro Chess, which was released December 1976. Uh, originally for the Kim 1 6502 based um, computer, which um, as default did not even have a display. It was just, uh, or a display as we know it. It was a simple keypad and some lit digits, but uh, it was not hard to port this to the Apple One, um, which the PE6502 computer I'm using here is completely software compatible with. And then later on, Apple II and Commodore, Atari 400, 800 computers. But um, here it sits uh, in memory. Um, I'll list it again. It won't take too long here. Uh, eight. So this is the entire code listing the direct machine code in, uh, in RAM. And uh, what I'll show you next is, um, it takes up about a K, um, I'll fire up the uh, assembler here. And what we'll do is we'll disassemble the code so you can see the assembly language. This is uh, micro chess here. And uh, this is the first page. I'll press D again to show the next page. And that's it. That is the assembly language that when you run it will become micro chess. So let's, let's get out of here. Dollar sign will exit the assembler. And then 1000 is the start address in memory, R for run. And here it is, exactly how it would look on an Apple One. So play a normal game here. Uh, we get to select our opening. Um, we'll, we'll try the first one. Uh, let's see. We want the computer to play black pieces. Now I'm going to press E here because for some reason I just like my pieces to be directly in front of me here. So I've exchanged black pieces for white pieces. And now I will open with my pawn. So um, I'll enter in XY coordinates um, start and then finish of the move. So on the queen side right in front of the queen I want to move that pawn up two spaces so I'm going to enter in uh, let's see how do we do this here I want to do so I guess it must be Y first right six four oops sorry six three two four three okay and it's identified the queen pawn so I'll hit enter it redraws the board with that move made. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. So now I'm gonna hit the P key. That tells it it's okay to make its move. And so now, it's, uh, it's thinking about it. And this might look uh, slow, but Actually, there's a pretty good game of chess on the Altair 8080. Little teeny bit better graphics because the terminal is a little bit more advanced, but I think that game is actually slower. So let's see what it did. It moved its uh, queen side knight. So I'm going to move the pawn uh, directly uh, in front of the king here. So now it's 64, 44. Okay. Hit enter, verify that's what I want to do. Hit P, uh, it's making its move now. Um, and I've seen other videos of people playing this game, but um, it looked like they didn't know what the keys were um, to control it. So I'll just tell you here, E will exchange sides. Um, P is what you hit to tell it it's okay to go ahead and make its move, but that's after you've moved your piece again by entering in the start and the finish coordinates 
um, and then hitting enter and it'll redraw the screen and then you hit P to tell it it's okay to move. And then, you know, let's say you're done playing the game, Q will quit and dump you back in the monitor. Or um, you can press the C button to reset um, for a new game. So I guess uh, if you resign the game or you just want to play a new game anyways, maybe you won, but... Okay. And so I've noticed this guy is pretty aggressive with his queen. He hasn't done it yet. It looked like he moved his other knight. But um, I've been playing before. It's quick to bring out that queen, buddy. <laughs> uh, so anyways, I just wanted to give you a quick demo of the uh, chess program and show you uh, quickly how it works in case anyone out there uh, wants to also play chess. And that's it. Um, if you have any interest in building this 6502 based computer, head over to my website, um, putnamelectronics.com, select the products link, and you can read all about this computer, and uh, I sell it in kit form, and uh, if you want to play around with the 6502 and enjoy some retro style computing, um, Give me a uh, shout, let me know, and uh, I can send a kid out your way for uh, not too much uh, money. Uh, great computer for educational purposes. Anyways, that's it. Have fun. I'll talk to you later. Bye.